Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you installation of Android Studio on Windows machine. Also, I will be showing you how to run first Android application. So let's start the video. So guys, you can open any of your favorite browser and just search for Android Studio download. And guys, here you can see the official website. You can just click on this link. It will redirect you to this page. Here you can see it's showing me get an official ID. You need to click on this download button. And guys, you will see license and agreement page over here. Just scroll down and click on this checkbox and this button. So guys, here it's showing me some message. I'm going to click on dismiss button. And you can see here my download has been started. And guys, it is going to take time. So please wait. And guys, remember one thing here you need strong internet connection because we need lots of download. Now to install, I'm clicking on this exe. Let me minimize my browser guys. And now here I'm going to click on next button on this welcome screen. Now here choose component. It is showing me Android virtual devices. So if you want to run your Android app, your application, so you need some devices. So if you are not connecting to physical devices, then you need to install virtual devices. So uh, your application will be run on virtual devices. So you need to click on next button by checking this install virtual devices. And guys here it's showing me the installation location. This is the path where your Android studio will be installed install so you need to just click on this next button and guys here it will be added to start menu folder yes that is okay just click on install button so it will start uh, installing your android studio so again it will take a while so please wait for it okay guys so you can see my installation is done here it's showing me completed i have to click on this next button and now guys here it's showing me android studio has been installed on your computer and the check mark is there that is start the android studio so yes i want to start the android studio we need to click on this finish button and here you have to select don't send so it is some uh, statistic just click on don't send so now here it's showing me message missing sdk so i need to install sdk no sdk found so click on next button and here it is showing me android sdk which are required for my android so it is showing this just and here it is showing the SDK location just click on next button to begin the installation of this SDK so here guys it is showing different information about the SDK so where it will be installed what is the setup type and what file size it will take just click on next button and guys again here for SDK you need to accept the license ag agreement just click on accept and click on this finish button it has started downloading the components so so here uh, my download has been started so we will wait so guys here you can see now it's showing uh, downloading components and now i need to click on finish button it has just shown the information about your sdk so i need to click on finish button and here guys here it has started my android studio and here you can see we have a different option project customize plugin and also here you can see we have an option for creating a new project opening a new project so i'm selecting creating new project and here from templates I am taking phone and tab tablet and now here I will be taking what empty project so various options are available I am just taking empty project and now here you need to give different information so the first information is your project name whatever project name you want to give you can provide so here I am giving my project name as first tab and guys next to it is package name so by default com.example. your project project name comes so this example you can replace by your company name so I'm just writing CS corner so com dot CS corner dot first tab and guys this is a location where my project will be saved so it will go in user admin Android studio project first tab okay and now here we have what minimum SDK so uh, just understand the concept of minimum SDK we have three things minimum SDK target SDK 
ओके एंड कंपाइल्ड एस डी के सो मेनी टाइम वी गेट कन्फ्यूज बिटवीन दिस टर्मिनोलॉजी सो मिनिमम एस डी के इज नथिंग बट द मिनिमम वर्जन ऑफ एंड्रॉयड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम रिक्वायर टू रन योर एप्लीकेशन ओके एंड देन लेटर ऑन आई विल बी शोइंग यू टारगेट एच डी के सो टारगेट एच डी के इज अ वर्जन ऑफ एंड्रॉयड दैट योर ऐप वॉज क्रिएटेड टू रन ऑन ओके सो वॉट एवर एच डी के यू हैव यूज फॉर रनिंग और फॉर क्रिएटिंग योर ऐप दैट इज वॉट टारगेट एच डी के एंड मिनिमम एच डी के इज वॉट दैट दैट एच डी के इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर रनिंग योर एप्लीकेशन सो हियर इट इज शोइंग मी एंड्रॉइड ट्वेंटी फोर एंड्रॉइड सेवन नो गट सो एंड इट इज शोइंग मी दैट इट विल रन अप्रॉक्सिमेटली नाइन्टी फोर so so you can change and see the percentage or uh, uh, let me me just click on this help me to choose so that I can show you the different SDK available and their uh, API level so uh, here I'll just click on this help me to choose so guys here you can see now uh, we have what android platform version so you can see 4.4 5.0 5.1 and so on and latest and these are the api level so for android operating system 4.4 the api level is what 19 so the formula is what minimum sdk should be less than or equal to target sdk so whatever um, uh, target sdk you have that should be what greater than or equal to your minimum sdk otherwise your project will not run so these are api level and these are what android platform version you can select this uh, whatever has been given default it will run on 94.4% device just click on this finish button okay as soon as you click on finish button it is going to show you the screen and here it will take a moment so you can see here it is showing up dating index and so many so this takes time so let it complete and then you can start with your project so this takes a little time it builds your gradle and everything and meanwhile i i'll just explain you this code so this is main activity dot kt file by default whenever you create any project in android studio latest one so uh, the file extension is kt because the official language for android is kotlin so it has created created kt file you can create java also and here we have a package name import statement and we have a main activity class okay so inside main activity we have a function known as on create so whenever you launch your application first of all on create method is called and then this on create method is calling what greeting method so we have fun over here fun greeting and what it is doing it is just printing hello and what Whatever value you will pass. Okay, so this is what my simple code for Android um, uh, application. Hello application. I'm not changing any code. And guys, you can see still my Gradle sync uh, is in progress. So I will wait for it to complete. So okay, guys. So my uh, Gradle sync finished. So. Okay, guys. So my uh, Gradle sync finished, and here you can see I have different folders available at this left side. App uh, inside app we have a manifest Java, and then inside that I have my package name, and then we have a KT file. Okay, and then you have resource folder also. In that you have different resource resources available. Like if you want to have images and all that thing, that is going to be in resource folder. Okay, just expand and. you can explore this folders and now guys what i'm going to do i'm just going to um uh, still now we have installed two component one is what your android studio another is what sdk now the third component that is avd we have to install android virtual devices so just click on this download manager and click on this link so guys here it's showing me select the hardware so whatever is the default one see guys it's showing its information like the size of the phone and the resolution 
solution okay so if you are installing first time android studio on your system then this step you may get in the earlier phase okay so here i am getting letter so now i will be selecting to be mem size and resolution i don't have to do anything you can just explore you can try others or other option also and just click on this uh, next button and now guys um, whatever phone you have selected on that phone some operating system some images is to be installed so here we have to select that so here we are uh, just keeping the default and versions also just click on this install button guys so guys it will install your android virtual devices so again it will take a while guys you can see it is done and i need to click on this finish button and now guys here you can see it's showing me my image name okay so just click on next button and here now you can see we don't have download arrow just click on next button and this is the name of your android virtual device if you want to change you can change and i'm taking portrait okay and just click on finish button so this is my avd on this avd my application will be run if you are not connecting physical devices so i'm just starting this avd by clicking on this launch avd uh, in the emulator so this will not run my application it will just start my avd okay so guys here you can see my avd has been started so here it's showing me my devices which is running now we will run application on this virtual device okay i have created separate video for how to run your application uh, using what uh, physical devices your actual mobile phone also how you can connect your mobile phone and your android studio uh, through wireless so you can see that video also so guys now here uh, we have different options code split and design so code shows your coding part and split shows code as well as design design shows only design part so now here i'm just clicking on this design button so you can see here it's showing me build and refresh so uh, to uh, get the preview we have to do this option so i'm clicking on this link so again guys here you can see waiting for a build to finish so um, it will take a moment and it will uh, show your preview of whatever code is there so now guys you can see it's showing me a uh, greeting preview so hello android so in my code we have android uh, written there so it's showing me that so guys now it has generated preview now i'm going to run it actually on my avd so for that you can click on the play button at the top or you can select here the third option so it will run your program on your avd so i'm selecting this third option and it will um, build your um, program and it is going to show output on your avd so guys you can see it is showing me my output on my avd so in my code i had uh, hello android so it's showing me hello android now i'm going to modify the code so now uh, let me go to the code and let me modify code so instead of hello android i want hello cs corner so i'm just changing my code at two places so here in greeting preview i'm just putting cs corner also in on create i'm putting cs corner what i'll do i'll run my this code on my uh, android virtual devices so here at the top you can see it's showing me my device name so what i need to do i need to just click on this play button okay so again guys it will build and it will install this apk on your uh, virtual devices and if you connect with physical devices the apk will be installed on your um, uh, real phone okay so now uh, you can see guys i'm getting my expected output hello cs corner so this way guys is you can create uh, projects in android studio and you can run on emulator so i hope guys by following my video you are able to successfully install android studio and you are able to run your first app also guys for creating this video i have put lots of effort i have tried to explain each and every steps in detail i have tried to show all the screen which i have got while installation so guys if really you have liked my video and if my video has really helped you don't forget to hit on like button and guys if you have any query you can put in comment box and do comment whether you like the video or not and which part you like most and guys if you are new to 
टू माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड डोंट फर्गेट टू हिट द बेल आइकन एंड गाइज आई एम देर ऑन टेलीग्राम चैनल देर आई एम शेयरिंग लॉट्स ऑफ पी डी एफ नोट्स इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन दैट टू फ्रीली यू कैन ज्वाइन दैट आई हैव गिवन लिंक ऑफ ऑल माई सोशल मीडिया इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन फॉलो मी देर ऑल्सो थैंक यू गाइज फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो टिल एंड आल्सो इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल दैट बबाई टेक केयर एंड कीप लर्निंग गाइज